Hurricane Dorian is now expected to approach the eastern coast of Florida sometime later tonight as a Category 2 storm. And it may have weakened, but uh, Dorian has already left uh, so much devastation across the Bahamas, killing at least five people. ABC's Elizabeth Hur is in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, with the very latest in our top story this afternoon at 5. Hurricane Dorian on the move after wreaking havoc across the Bahamas. The destruction, deadly and historic. The Salvation Army so far estimating up to 13,000 homes destroyed. Disaster response teams from the U.S. now on the ground providing humanitarian assistance. This as millions of Americans from Florida and North Carolina remain under evacuation orders bracing for Dorian. Its impact already being felt in Florida. Dorian's outer bands have already um, uh, impacted a number of customers in our service area. Leaving thousands in the dark overnight, sinking boats off the southern coast of Florida, grounding thousands of flights and completely shutting down several airports across the state. Uh, more days to go. Uh, the threat is not over. In Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, residents are still boarding up and filling sandbags. With authorities warning, have a plan and be ready. If you live in a residence that flooded over the last four years, you should evacuate your, your residence and move to higher ground and stay out of harm's way. Here in Florida, the governor says while the current track looks encouraging for Floridians, he is still urging residents to stay patient and vigilant. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Now, if you're looking to help victims from Hurricane Dorian, it's very simple. You can simply give blood. LifeServe Blood Center is asking for extra donations this week to help restore the blood supply. The blood center has already sent donations to Florida ahead of that storm, but that has left donations lower than preferred. And if you're ready to donate yourself, you can pump up the blood supply with us tomorrow right here at KCA Unite. We're partnering with LifeServe Blood Center to host a blood drive. We'll have more details on the drive coming up during our one-on-one -on -one interview with LifeServe coming up later in this newscast.